In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options padlock infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the first option, second, third, and fourth with different color combination. And I've added the shackle here, which looks kind of a 3D effect here. Then you can add details of each text here. Okay, key one, key two, key three, and key four. I have created one more slide where I have used a kind of a 3D effect here. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. I'm going to draw a padlock design here for that go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle just click it here go to the shape format make the height and width as 3.5 all right and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside make it a very less curved at the corners then align center align middle shape outline make it no outline the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to keep only one part. If you see here, there are four portions, one, two, three, four portions. So I'm going to keep only one portion and I'm going to delete the rest of the portions. For that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw a rectangle covering only one part of the square shape. Give some different color. All right. Then what I'm going to do is select this shape, hold the shift key, select this purple color rectangle, go to the merge shapes and select the intersect okay and once this is done just give any color of your choice i'm going to give a green color then what you can do is you can hold the control shift key drag this down all right and give a different color here i'm going to give a blue color and then go to rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical so you can see here the corner it comes here okay now select both the shapes hold the control shift key and move it towards the left and then i'm going to select this one give a color of any of your choice i'm going to give a orange color then rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and then here i'm going to give a kind of purple color and then this also i'm going to make it flip horizontal so we end up getting a shape with four different colors which looks like this all right so once this is done, the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shackle for the lock. Okay, for that go to insert shape, select the uh, rounded corner rectangle, draw a rounded corner rectangle. For example, like this, I'm going to keep it. All right, make it a less curved. Let me just move aside. Press Control D to duplicate. Hold the Shift key, reduce the size of this one, and make sure to put exactly in the center. Okay, so let me just give a different color here all right and here the the small orange point just drag this outside okay so once this is done i'm going to select both the shapes go to the shape format more shape i'm going to set the subtract here okay and then the below part i'm going to cut for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle all right so select this shape hold this hold the shift key select this one more shape and subtract and shape outline make it no outline and put the shackle here and make sure to send this to back so you can see here some basic design is ready and one more thing which we need to do is i need to add a keyhole for that one to add a keyhole go to the insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key okay and put it exactly in the center of this go to the insert shapes and select the trapezoid draw a small trapezoid here and this also put exactly in the center all right select both the shapes these two shapes go to the merge shape and make it a union so it looks something like this okay and shape outline make it no outline so let me just give a different color for this keyhole so i'm going to give a light color here then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate exactly Put on top of this again press ctrl d and ctrl d so total four keypads or key locks key holes are there here so if i move here you can see here one two three four i have what i did exactly i have placed it on top of each other the next thing what you have what you have to do is you have to select this shape 
only one color green color select this shape and select the one keyhole okay by pressing the shift key then go to the merge shape i can subtract it the moment i subtract it it end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right so now i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this shape merge shape and subtract it so it has it looks something like this then select this one and this one merge shape subtract and this and this merge shape subtract so you can see here i have got a shape which looks like this all right so once this is done let me just uh, focus my attention to this particular shackle right mouse click go to the format shape here i'm going to give a 3d look for that go to the effects under effects go to the 3d format uh, sorry yeah 3d format here top bevels i'm going to give a bevel which is round all right and you can just give any color here for example i'm going to fill this color with a gradient color and here i'm going to use maybe two stops let me just check so one stop i'm going to make it a kind of uh, black and the other one i'm going to make it kind of a gray and here uh, go to the effects now and then start increasing the bevel the height and width here so you can see here i'm just increasing so it is looking more of a 3d okay so once this is done what you can do is you can add the text here so the text you can see here i've added some icons and some text here so for that click on the insert click on the icons here you can just choose any icons for your choice but in this case i'm just choosing some random icons all right so let me just choose some random icons here so i'm going to choose the alarm clock i'm going to choose this the map of africa this sh shutter and then maybe this click insert move this aside and place exactly on top of each of these boxes you can see here and put it here and graphic fill i'm going to fill this with white color or any color of your choice so i'm just filling this with white you can see here and once this is done you can add some detailed text which looks like this okay and moreover if you want you can just do a shadow effect for the shadow effect go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle again draw a rounded corner rectangle shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with black increase the transparency here you can see here go to the effects soft edges increase the soft edges here okay and then send this to back okay so you can see here but the white is it's not visible so what you can do is you can cut this also so select this shape you can see here insert shape select one more rectangle draw a rectangle only this part okay select this shape hold the shift key merge shape and subtract and put the shadow effect like this so it's up to you so once this is done i'm going to group this one so select this and group it select this two and group it this two group it and then this two you group it all right then the last step is to insert the title and detail text so title you can make it bold reduce the font size to 16 and go to insert text box equals lorem within brackets one i don't want this much large text reduce the font size give the font size maybe a gray color and select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate and ctrl d now this time i'm going to make it right aligned and even the shape format right align all right hold the control shift key that's it and if you would like to do some basic animation so you can go to the animations enable the animation pane before that one just make sure that you group this press ctrl g select and ctrl g to group it the title and the detailed text okay so now i'm going to select this one 
if you want any animation effect you can just use appear it appears like this for example okay then this one this and this after this you can just bring this add animation more entrance effects you can make it peek in okay and click okay so if you see here it comes it looks something like this one two three and four and then it comes so similarly you can just do the animation for this also for the shadow effect i'm going to use the fade effect here and after a previous it should come so if i play it comes something like this and then you can just add any animation effect here for this as well okay whether fade or fly in or float it's up to you